Hello everybody and happy summer's day. I hope you're all having fun out there. I wanted to give you a little reward, Emsol, because you deserve a treat. It's not a treat to eat, but it is something you might appreciate. So let's play a little game. Riddle me this. Did you hear about the cannibal chocolatier? What did you hear? <laughs> Riddle number two, at what point did the tomato realize he was about to get lucky? <laughs> Riddle number three, I can squirt, spray, or mist fluids, and I'm usually used to dispense perfumes, cleaners, and cosmetics. What am I? No dirty jokes, please. <laughs> Real number four, the Romans paid their soldiers with this item, hoping they'd end up with seasoned veterans. What is it? And riddle number five, the blue parts on a map always represent what? Hmm. What do you think? Let's review. In riddle number one, what did you hear about the cannibal chocolatier? I heard that his peppermint bark is worse than his bite. <laughs> what we're going to need is peppermint essential oil, five drops of peppermint essential oil. And riddle number two, at what point did the tomato realize he was about to get lucky? When the garlic started taking off her cloves. Cloves is the key word here. We're going to need three drops of clove essential oil. Riddle number three, it can squirt spray or mist fluids. Keep your mind clean. And usually used to dispense perfumes, cleaners, and cosmetics. What is it? It's a glass spray bottle. We need one the size that can hold two ounces for this recipe. Riddle number four. The Romans really did pay their soldiers with this item. It wasn't money so they could have quote unquote seasoned veterans. They used salt. Salt is a seasoning. Just add a pinch of salt. All right, here's how we put it all together. We need to take the five drops of peppermint essential oil, the three drops of clove essential oil, put it into one of those spray bottles, about a two ounce holding size glass spray bottle, and then once it's all in there, add in a pinch of salt to the bottle, and then you're gonna fill the bottle the rest of the way with water. You're gonna shake the contents of this bottle vigorously for about a minute so that everything combines as evenly as possible. In order to use this, well, what is it, you might ask me? It is a natural mouthwash and breath spray, something you can pop into your bag or your purse or your gym bag and bring it out and spritz it whenever you need um, to freshen your breath. And you can use it as a mouthwash or a breath spray, you know, like Banaka of the olden days. I don't know, do people still use Banaka? <laughs> I haven't seen it around. So to use it, you shake it well to make sure that it's mixed. Then you're gonna pump two to three sprays into your mouth like a breath spray. You can add more drops of essential oils according to your taste. Um, I like to keep things well diluted with water so it doesn't burn. And you can also unscrew the cap, pour out one tablespoon as needed as a natural mouthwash. Store this in room temperature out of direct sunlight and it can last for about a week or you can store it in the fridge so that you can use that first batch for about a month. All right, well, Happy Breath Freshener Day, everybody, <laughs> and I'll see you next time.